back to my channel and welcome to another 24 hour challenge video. For today's challenge, we are going to be eating only at Korean cafes for a full day. If you know anything about Korea, then you're probably aware of their crazy cafe culture. One of my favorite things about living here is the abundance of cafes. And actually, I live in kind of like the cafe capital, I would call it, of Busan. It's called Samyeon slash Jampo Street. So if you ever come over here to Busan, you have to check out this area because there are, no joke guys, hundreds of cafes in just like this little neighborhood. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up so I know to make more and let me know in the comments which meal looks the tastiest to you. I actually fasted almost all day yesterday and prepped for this video. So you guys can probably imagine how hungry I am right now. And if you're new here, what's up? My name is Adrian. I am 22 and I live here in Busan, South Korea. So if you like videos like this, be sure to hit subscribe. Anyways, it is currently about 10.30. So we are going to head out for our first meal of the day. I'm gonna take you guys to this place called Before Sunset. It's here in Samyeon. And yeah, I'll see you guys when we get there. Sorry guys, I had to mute this part because the cafe was blasting Sam Smith and it got copyrighted. But this is just me showing you guys my tea. I ordered a Camille tea? Is that how you say it? Uh, yeah, I ordered this tea. It was really, really good. Gonna start ordering this more because it was very tasty. And then here is my toast. It was absolutely delicious. Have not stopped thinking about it since. So much good stuff on there. So yeah, sorry about having to mute that. Ready? All right, first bite. There's butter and then honey and granola, almonds, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, lemon, and I think a little bit of powdered sugar. Oh my gosh, it's so good. All right, I'm all done. That was such a solid first meal to start this video off. Um, totally recommend if you're in Busan, come here. They had so many other options too. There's actually like pictures all over the walls of like their different dishes. Anyways, I'm gonna continue on just with my studying for the next couple of hours. And then I'm gonna go give Cleo a long walk and then we'll go to our second place. <laughs> not have picked a prettier day to film this video and this is actually right over by my first apartment that I had here in Korea. <laughs> So we made it to our next cafe and this place is so cool. There's so many cute photo ops inside here, including the bed right there, like a bed inside of a cafe. I feel like I'm in someone's bedroom right now. Anyways, my food has arrived. I ordered a ciabatta sandwich. So good looking. Oh my goodness. I was craving something like this so i'm glad i could find it 
And then I just decided to go with an Americano. Mm. Hey guys, so it is later on now. It's actually kind of late. It's, I wanna say around nine o'clock and we are going to go get our last meal for this video. So I was just browsing around on Naver trying to figure out where I wanted to take you guys last. And I always just click the cafe button to figure out where all the cafes are. And I found this place literally is stated as being a salad cafe. So it's pretty much just a restaurant that sells salad, but they advertise it as a cafe probably so people like me that are obsessed with cafes will go there i feel like in america we would call it a salad bar and i guess here they just call it a salad cafe but it is advertised as a cafe so hey it works yeah that is where i'm going to take you guys next and super side note here but wow my house feels so quiet i just took cleo to her pet sitters because i'm going to seoul for a few days this week tomorrow and it was just so weird coming inside my house just then and not having a little doggy to greet me. I already miss her, but I'll have her back later this week. So we're at another two-story cafe. I love the aesthetic of this one. Um, so there's the downstairs, and when you come upstairs, you have these huge windows that just look out. And it's kind of like a little deck-looking area, like kind of feel like you're outside. And then here are the rest of the tables. last meal of the video and this one looks delicious after having so much bread today this looks amazing so they had like tons of different bowls you could get avocado and toast um i think their main specialty though is like salad bowls and this is the one that i got so it's called the korean bowl i just realized i have my airpods in i should probably take those out i don't even know how to fix this up it's so big Oh my gosh. So good. And it also came with this soup. Oh, so good. Alright guys, so I guess that's just gonna wrap up this challenge video I did three meals from three cafes in one day i was thinking about maybe going to like a dessert cafe to have four meals or four places in one day but honestly i'm so stuck right now and i don't want to force that and i feel like i've already shown you guys enough in this video so hey if you want to see more cafes let me know and i can always do a part two maybe that would be fun i really like these videos because it has me doing stuff out of my comfort zone like i do not usually go out to eat by myself at all so to go out not once not twice but three times in one day by myself to eat that's like stepping out of my comfort zone, y'all, and it, it feels good. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what other challenges you want to see, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.